come, who is playing football? Come, come, guys. When we were at this age, our occupation was looking after cattle. That's it. And that's what, you know, fed our families. And when animals were sold, we all benefited. And so we, we attached value to the cattle, um, not just for food, but also, you know, in, in, in the sense of that you, when you sell cattle, the elders sold cattle, you knew that you, have an, you had an opportunity to, to acquire a new pair of shorts, eh? <laughs> a new pair of uh, shoes, if you're lucky. Oh. <laughs> I have said before to many people, the cattle rearing gave me a glimpse into business at an early age. And obviously going to school for me was a, was a platform. Many people who know me from childhood tell you I worked hard. I was a fairly quiet guy, right? Uh, and focused on what I was asked to do and took instructions from my elders, from parents. And so the culture of work, hard work, responsibility, commitment to duty evolved from that early stage. I'm a product of a government bursary. I'm a product of free education. Because of the benefits I've got from this free education, I feel obliged. Our children from poorer families must too benefit from the education that the government can provide. What I ask my God is I say, Give me wisdom to save these children of Zambia. This is a great country. It, it can achieve a lot, but all it's lacking is leadership, good leadership. That's all. I actually feel very, very sad that uh, people, a small population like this one, have to live in poverty in a country that is so rich. It is, it's really unfortunate. And this is the motivation for me to seek public office. And we can do it. We just have to set our priorities right. Uh, you know, what I call pillars of development. UPND is committed to several measures that will re-establish Zambia as a proud and shining star of democracy in Southern Africa. We will form a government that represents the nation and includes ministers from every province. We have a young population with lots of potential, but we need to make sure that we are giving everyone the chance to succeed. Children and youth will have full access to education from primary to university. We believe that by investing properly in our farmers, we can help them to grow and sell more, and at the same time, bring food prices down. My brothers and sisters, we have work to do. I want to give you hope, because help is on the way. Together, we are going to change this country for the better. The problem that there is in some of these political competitors is that they see this country in a different way. They think that public office is an opportunity for them to access resources for their benefits. I see, we see public office as an opportunity to alleviate the lives of the people of Zambia, to remedy the problems in our country.
Look at the resources we have in this country. It's up to us to exploit these resources for value to our people. How luck are we? What more are we asking for? God gave us everything. What should we ask for? Only the missing link causing a small population to remain poor, to be unemployed, to go to bed hungry. is a leadership, good quality leadership. And that's what we want to bring to this country. I just love this country. I love this country. I don't have any other country I can call home other than this one. And if this is my country and I love it so much, it's my duty, it is our duty collectively to make it better for everyone else. And Zambia can be better for everyone else.